Okay, let me see if I can make some sense out of this. This is the pieces that are cut for the car. You have your tubing. And you have your two pieces for the outrigger. They will get welded in the center of that mark there. Mark in the center of this and welded in the center of that. Six and a quarter inches from the end of this back. Two inches back, you will drill a hole for the coupler. And you will weld a nut. You will thread that hole. 3 eighths by 16. You will thread this part. The bottom part just has to be drilled. 3 eighths. Well, this, you don't even have to thread that if you don't want to, but I usually do. And then weld this nut to the frame. Okay, this, like I said, this gets welded to the center of this, six and a quarter inches back. This piece is 15 inches long. Mark it seven and a half and mark it to center. Mark this to the center six and a quarter inches back and this is going to be the start of your frame this sits on top of this like this and this is what it look like when you get done you have your nut welded here for the coupler and then you will have your your center bolt here doesn't even have to show you can drill it all the way through if you, if you want to but you don't have to the coupler goes in this end. If you notice here, there's a little tit hanging down. This is where it's welded together. The tubing is folded and welded together here. That has to be filed out. The little hangy down thing there, the seam has to be filed out. It has to be filed out past the coupler so that when the coupler moves inside of this, it doesn't bind up. And that does happen so that's the only problem with using this tubing is you have to file that out sometimes if you find a piece of this tubing it's got the little burnt little uh, tab hanging down and it's on the inside over here on this side it makes a whole lot less trouble than having to file that out so you're going to need a good file and it'll take you a while to file that out okay you get this thing ready here in order to get your bolt up through there the best thing to do is to drill this and this to tap it for uh, 3 8 inch. Put it in a drill press or you can do it by hand. Now you take your bolt I usually want to use one about 4 inches long and in order to drill it up through there, you drill through this up and up there, and you can see that it's going to stick through that one. So when this is on there like that, when it's drilled up into here, you're going to go drill through both of these right here and this one. You don't even have to drill through the top. And that's all you need to drill right there. Unless you're carrying an extreme amount of weight like I am, that's all I would do. And then this gets welded on top and you line up your bolt before you weld it together. You would want to make sure your holes are aligned and your bolts are aligned. Or you can weld all of this together and then drill your hole. Either way you want to do it. Now I have in the past welded a nut here. You can see on some of my old, my pictures where I welded a nut here and then in order to get this to fit down on top of that I had to drill a large hole like this to get that to fit down on top of it. So this nut has to fit down in there. And on top of that is when you weld that nut in place, 
you have to file this hole out to match that weld so that the weld will hold it in you know the weld will let that go down on top of it so it's easier just to drill the hole and thread it all the way up through the top not all the way through the top all the way through the three pieces the, the bottom of this top of this and the, the bottom of the bottom bottom uh, the bottom top and and bottom so just drill through those three pieces and bolt you know, put your bolt in there now the bolt will hang out the bottom and the way I do mine is I put Loctite on the threads screw it in the frame get it good and tight and then I will punch the side of it here I'll cut the head of it off with a little thin grinder and then I'll punch the side of it here and drill a like an eighth inch hole in it so I can put a hairpin in it or a card key whichever one you want to use so when it's hanging down there'll be nothing on it and your truck will sit on the bottom of that then you can add another piece you can add a large shim for the Tom B's trucks or some little thin 16th inch shims for the mountain car okay and there's a another method that I have used in the past and that is to use a one of these long nuts like this and to use that I had to drill out a hole all the way through this in order to go all the way through to the bottom so it will look like this you have to have a like three quarter inch drill bit to get all the way through there but the problem with using using this for this piece is that the bottom has to be flat and flush so you can't let that stick out any and when you weld it in place down here it's hard to get flush again then you have to weld this top piece in place so this will be sticking up through this by about this much so when that's sticking up through there this piece has to go down on top of it like that and in order to do that you have to drill a large hole here and here in this piece as, as like that then you have to drill a large hole up here in this for this to stick up inside of it so if you're doing if you're having to haul a real heavy heavy loads this would probably be the best but just your average load just the one bolt threaded through this is all you're going to need